tells us about our talents? Um, don't put them under a bush. <laughs> That's hiding our light under a bushel. He doesn't want us to do that with our talents either. We have to use them. And I want you to keep writing, Mary Elizabeth, even though there are no more prizes. Where did you get that book, Mary Elizabeth? Huh? Where did that book come from? Oh, this book. Um... How many of you are living on land that could one day, without any warning, be taken away from you based on a story about something that happened a long time ago? Well, before long, everything would end up back with the Native Americans. Dean and Tina Foster did not take their land from anyone. If, in fact, a crime occurred, you would be asking them to pay for one that they had nothing to do with committing. Would that be justice? I hope you'll agree that it is not. Thank you. Mr. Clemens would like us all to put the injustice you've heard about behind us and let the Fosters go on reaping the harvest as they have for generations. When Vera Foster was thrown off her farm, she fell into a life of poverty from which her family has never been able to recover. Her husband's will was ignored because of a law that said no matter how much two people of different races loved each other, they could not marry. This law was finally declared unconstitutional in 1972, which didn't help the Tylers. But you can. It is never too late to right a wrong. Thank you. You're up early. Couldn't sleep. Stories in the paper. <laughs> well, there it is. Best name. I decided to use O'Brien as my professional name. Your professional name? Since when? Let's not get into this. Why not? You go off and change your name. It is my name. I changed it when I married you. Maybe that's your way of telling me you don't want me to marry me anymore. Collier, that is a terrible thing to say. Is it true? Of course not. If you send in another story, are you going to use my name? Is that all you can talk about? Your name? What about the story? Did you even read it? Yeah, I read it. It's a real nice story. Nice. That's it? Don't you remember how we used to catch salamanders, how much fun we had. Yep. Slimy little critters. <clears throat> well, better get dressed for mass. I won! I won! I won! I won! I won! Oh, Sister Mary Margaret called and told us. I'm so proud of you. Well, congratulations. What'd you end up doing? Spitting? No. I made up a story, and now I'm getting a new bike! Sister Mary Margaret also told me that you lost your arithmetic book in the creek, and that you brought in Johnny's old book. <laughs> what? Young man, you know what keeping old school books is. It's stealing. If I was gonna steal, it wouldn't be some school book. Then where did you get that book? I... I tried it with a friend. Hers was all messed up, and I hate arithmetic. It wasn't yours to give away. I can get it back. You do that and quit making up stories, Mary Elizabeth, or you're going to be in some serious trouble. Yes, ma'am.
jury has found that the Foster Farm was passed down illegally. The court hereby rules that the plaintiffs be paid the value of the Foster Farm in 1922, adjusted for inflation. Everybody take out your reading books. I got good news for y'all. I'm from New Orleans. Has anyone ever heard of it? Good. <laughs> Down there, every year we have a Mardi Gras celebration. Whatever group has the best costumes wins. We're gonna try and do something like that in here, only it's gonna be about reading. Can anyone in here tell me why reading is important? Honey. Yeah? Cause I can get me a job. Yes, that is true. What else? Yeah? You can read books and learn about different people and different things. That's right. Now, I want everyone in here to finish their reading textbooks by the end of the month, and whoever finishes gets a prize. Yeah? What kind of prize? <laughs> Something to help you all be better writers. Ooh. Yeah. Come in. We, uh, brought you the check for the tireless. Came out $22,000. Made a take out a loan. We felt pretty bad about things. I'm sorry it fell on you to pay. I just don't know what else the tireless could have done. That farm, that's all we have. But we believe what happened to those people was wrong, even though it was not our fault. Miss Tyler, does she need help finding a job or something? No, she has a job. But there is one thing she might like. like I got electricity running all through me. Yeah. Me too. <sighs> kind of glad it's over. Suing somebody is a lot of work. <laughs> it's not entirely over. I've been talking to a friend of mine in Washington, D.C. She's going to help me try to get the miscegenation law scratched out of the Alabama Constitution. I'm gonna pay you for everything. Not for this. I've been meaning to give this back to you. You don't want it? It's real go. I want you to have it. Thank you. And I mean that. Understand. Why would you give up writing just when you had your first success? Because I think I need to work on my marriage right now. Maybe get a job, help out. But. Yes? What were you going to say? When I was a kid, the nuns told us not to hide our light under a bushel. Do you think marriage can be a bushel? <laughs> <laughs> 